another video. As you can see, I just finished the other video. Um, I haven't edited it yet, but I have this taken apart, so I'm going to go ahead and go over how the the meter works right here. This is a Fluke brand, but basically, uh, I'm going. I just hooked that back up, so I got the ground neutral and hot connected to their respective places. I'm going to turn this back on by resetting it. And then what I'm going to do is turn this on, and then I'm going to switch it to the voltage setting. The V stands for voltage. So when I turn that on, it's going to go into voltage mode. And then I'm going to just test it over here. So I'll try to set the camera up so you can see what's going on. All right, so hopefully you can see this. I just set it up against my drill, set the camera against the drill. So you're going to use these two sticks on the back of the meter right here. These are the little prongs that it comes with that are connected and you got the wires here. So um, what I'm gonna do, test the voltage. I'm just gonna put the black one on one side and the red one on another another point. So um, I'm just gonna touch this one to the ground and then touch this one to the neutral and it should say zero. So hopefully you can see this, but it says zero. And then I go over to the hot side um, and then it says 122 volts. So Basically, you use this. You probably can't see that. Hopefully, you can, but um, I'll try to move this without hurting myself. So, um, so hopefully, you can read this, but um, put this on the hot screw, put this there, and then that reads 122. So, I'm going to try to check the screen so it looks like you can see that 122. So, this just is a way to test the voltage and this is the 600 series so it should only go up to the 600 voltage but if you get the thousand it'll go up to a thousand but uh i'd probably go with a thousand but uh, i wasn't really familiar with it at the time but i've never used anything over 200 or something 400 volts so anyways you can go around checking the plug make sure it's or just whatever you're checking but uh this plug so the ground to neutral should be zero the Ground to hot should be 120, and the neutral to uh, hot should be 120. So uh, it always varies a little bit whether it's 118 or 122. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this over to the neutral screw, and as you can see, it's 122. So it's just a way to check your voltage. So uh, next, I will go over the amperage, which I'm not really familiar with, but um, that should just tell you the, uh, the amperage. So I'm not sure if you checked, I'm pretty sure this will work, but let me just try this. Hopefully this doesn't blow anything up, but this just tells you how many amps is going through the plug. So it says 0.1. So if you're uh, if you're doing it in the panel or something and you have a load on it, it'll tell you different voltages, at, whether it's uh, one amp, 20 amps or whatever. This is just 0.1, nothing's going on, but um, so this will just tell you the amperage that's being used at the time. And then there's a continuity setting over here. Uh, I'll try to figure this out, how to show you guys, but um, yeah, so basically I'll try to do it on these two wires that are not connected up here, go to the other bathroom. Uh, if I, hopefully I can just stick the plug tester in there and then that would work. If not, I'll just uh, grab a wire and then stick it in there, so. Let me just show you right bathroom. I'm just going to stick this in here to try to connect the circuit. Um, as you can see, the power is off because the wires aren't connected. Sure if this is going to work if that plug tester is going to count as a source of connecting the wires, but basically you set this to continuity. I'm actually going to turn this power off real quick so I don't accidentally hurt myself. Um, so what I'm going to do is these wires go to the other bathroom. As you can see, I just put the plug tester in over there. And if this connects it correctly, then... Um, when I touch these two together, it makes that noise and that means that, um, that it's like a full circle. So uh, I'm tr basically I'm trying to connect the other side. So when you're done, it ends up being a circle. So right now I'm trying to tie the other wires together on the other side. And then this is the other side of the circle. So when I connect these, it should beep like that. So when you connect it, this basically just says that it's connected which means that um, that it's the same wire. So you can use this to trace out wires to, identi to identify which wire goes where um, once the walls are all complete or whatever. So you're trying to figure out which wire goes which. This is helpful for a GFCI 
uh, plug, so if you're trying to figure out the line and the load. Um, so, let me see if this works. So that didn't connect it, so um, I'll, I'll go try to get a wire real quick and then show you guys. So stand by real quick. All right, so this will definitely work, basically. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of a good example. Um, you're trying to make a circle out of, um, basically when you're using the tester, you're trying to make a circle. Um, you're trying to make a continuous loop. So when you make that continuous loop, it identifies it as a single wire. So right now I'm connecting the, the white wire and the black wire, the neutral and the hot. So um, when I go back to the other side and I touch them together, it will signify that um, it's together. So now that those wires are connected on the other side um, through the plug, the white side and the black side, hot and neutral, when I go to touch these now, it will, it will beep saying that the wire is continuous. So I'm trying to explain this, but I'm not sure how. So basically you're just trying to identify it as a continuous loop. So <clears throat> it's just used for identifying wires. So the white and the black on the other side is right here. So on the other side, sorry, someone just bothered me. So on the other side, the white and the black are connected, uh, tied those together. So it will, so the other side of the wires are right here. So when I go to turn this back on to the continuity setting or the ohms or whatever um, this will ring now so basically when you touch it 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 just identifies the loop and when it's on the, and this is the other end of the wires it will ring now confidently so basically um, when you tie tie the wires together either with a wire nut or through the plug um, you can identify that these two wires go to the other room that are tied together. So uh, if I didn't know how this was wired, I could confidently say that these two wires now go to the other bathroom um, on that plug. So if I'm trying to find out where these wires are going or whatever. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, these are just the different settings on the meter right here. So you got the voltage that we went over, the amperage and the continuity. Um, there's probably another use for the continuity, but that's all I really use the continuity for is identifying wires. So, uh, like this. Boop, boop. So anyways, hopefully that helps. And, uh, thanks for checking out the video. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and it found it useful, give it a like. I'd appreciate it and subscribe for more videos. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I will see you tomorrow at work. Monday morning bright and early. So thanks for watching guys. See you later.